Hi, it's Ewa and Elaine, fourth roomie. So today we are making brown sugar boba ice cream bars. These are so, so good. It's basically if you put brown sugar milk tea into ice cream form. And so we have with us our boba expert. Not really, <laughs> but I love boba. Boba connoisseur. <laughs> So this recipe is easy, lactose-free, and inspired by the ice cream bars that you can sometimes find at the Asian grocery store, but they're really hard to find and expensive. Yeah, so like the original ones are called Xiaomei, and they're like eight to nine dollars per like a box, and it comes with like four of them. It took some time, but definitely worth it because the boba that we make actually stays soft and chewy, which we have found that the store-bought ones, if you stick them in the freezer, they get super hard. So this actually creates soft, chewy boba without any preservatives or artificial ingredients. So yeah, boba actually came from Taiwan. I don't know. Ooh, represent. <laughs> but yeah, after that, like a lot of like Asian countries started making their own. Like there's tiger sugar, um, which was like actually my favorite one because they're like tapioca balls are like really small and chewy too. So we're the boba babes. <laughs> So for this recipe, you'll need popsicle molds. I mean, you could make this as regular ice cream if you wanted, but we really wanted to get the ice cream bar similar to the box kind. Black sesame powder. You could also use regular black sesame seeds and grind this down if you felt so inclined to do so. Dark brown sugar, honey, and glutinous rice flour. We're using lactate vanilla ice cream because we are very lactose intolerant but you could use any vanilla ice cream that you wanted or make it from scratch. So you want to use glutinous rice flour instead of the instant one to make the popsicles because the, these ones are made from tapioca starch and when you freeze these, it actually becomes like really hard. And when you freeze these, it's like really soft consistency. <laughs> so <laughs> the first step is? The first step is putting in our first part of vanilla ice cream so we can get that top layer in while we get some of the other ingredients ready. ready. Yeah. So you want to fill this, um, the first layer to at least one-fourth of the mold here. So it's like right here. And then we're just going to put this in the freezer while we make some of the other ingredients so we can get that nice layer of uh, frozen ice cream. So the next step is to make the boba pearls. And originally, like I said before, like, you could make it from glutinous rice flour, which would make it chewier. If you make it from tapioca starch or like potato starch, any type of starch, and freeze it, it's gonna be hard. So now you need two teaspoons of glutinous rice flour. Here, one. Two. And then? And then one teaspoon of black sesame powder. So this is what's gonna give it that black coloring similar to tapioca pearls, but without any like like preservative ingredients or, like, or yeah, yeah. additive, yeah. Unhealthy shit. <laughs> to be darker, you can always add more black sesame powder or if you really like black sesame, you can just add as much as you like. But to make it sweet, we're gonna add a little bit of honey just to help it be less grainy. Okay, and then get a teaspoon of hot water and then pour it in here and mix it. Continue to mix together. Once it starts to clump, you can make it into a ball and then knead it out into a log. And then cut off a small bit and just roll it into a little ball. So what my grandma actually used to do um, in Fujinese is called bao won. It's like a type of um, rice cake thing. Just cut it into smaller pieces. So for example, one, two, three, and then be like a man. Just roll it like this. See? Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Really That's fast. really efficient. Yeah. The FJ Village people. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're just gonna dust them with some glutinous rice flour to help them retain their shape. And they'll literally look just like tapioca balls that you would buy in a store. So now that all the boba is dusted, we're just gonna add it into the boiling water to cook so they can become nice and bouncy. Yeah, they do like salve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boba <laughs> boba <laughs> So you're gonna cook the boba pearls for three to five minutes until they're nice and soft and chewy. And while that's cooking, we're gonna make the brown sugar syrup. So next we're gonna make the brown sugar syrup and you're gonna start with about a 
third cup of water in a pot. Once it's boiling, you can add in your sugar, your brown sugar. So I'm gonna add about two tablespoons. And then you'll just stir it, and you'll wanna watch the syrup so that it doesn't burn, because it will ruin the flavor if it does. So you wanna put the fire to medium heat, and then wait until this thickens. Once it starts to bubble and reduce down, you'll wanna add cornstarch in to help with the consistency of the brown sugar syrup so that it doesn't get hard or brittle in the freezer. So after you drain the tapioca, you just like pour in here. Cause you wanna get them to have that brown sugar syrup taste. So we'll just coat them in the syrup. Okay, that's why you also don't have to add too much honey in the beginning if you wanna like, want to save your calories. <laughs> Just, <laughs> just be healthier. Yeah. But you also don't want it to be like super sweet, so because it's already gonna be sweet with the vanilla mm. ice cream in this. So we're gonna get our mold out of the freezer and start layering everything so we can make our ice cream bars. Full of like brown sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say anything, you can just say that. <laughs> So you're gonna layer this in and just put a few pearls and a little bit of syrup into the mold. And then ice cream. Make sure you press it in. You want everything to Be layer, compact. Yeah, yeah. get compact and layer together. And you could make, you could double the recipe to make all of them, but we're trying to be good and only make half of them. I mean, we can like finish it in like <laughs> two minutes though. So now we've layered our ice cream bars and have to hope that they will come out pristine and perfect yes. after. <laughs> so you can just put, this one came with like a little lid and then we can just- There's like slots for the, um, insertion of the sticks. So we're gonna put these in the freezer for like three hours or overnight, depending on how much patience you have to wait for your ice cream bars. Okay, we had the patience to wait an entire day for our boba bars. Let's see how they came out. <laughs> Success! Yay! <laughs> so in our trial and error of making these, we did have some issues pulling these out of the mold. So we recommend putting your freezer on its coldest setting and letting these set overnight if you have the patience to wait. Okay, taste test. Taste test. Mmm, so good. The ball. The tapioca <laughs> balls are so chewy. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, all the, the our flavor. mochi balls like retain their like mm -hmm. softness and chewiness. The brown sugar, like everything's just there. Like it's not super like overly sweet, even though we used uh, vanilla ice cream. Mm -mm. <laughs> and we save money. Yeah. So everything that we use, like you can use it for other things, like. The glutinous rice flour, you can use it for mochi or porridge. <laughs> um, what else do we use? Vanilla ice cream mm. you can eat as is if you really wanted. Brown sugar. It's like everything. vegan, right? No, this ours was lactose free. Uh -oh. But you could use a vegan ice cream if you wanted. It's lactose free for our lactose intolerant friends. But it's so creamy and rich, but without being like too sweet, I think. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Boba Expert has approved. <laughs> so if you like this recipe, make sure to follow, like, and subscribe. Woo! Boba, Boba Babes out. <laughs>